Elise was born on February 5th, 2003. Little did we know that Elise had a degenerative disease called Tay-Sachs, which was already attacking her central nervous system. Elise would never have a first word, step, or day of school. At the end of March in 2004, an eye doctor dilated Elise's pupil and found a cherry red dot. Everything I was reading led in the same direction. The only piece that didn't fit with everything I said was that Jews were high carriers of Tay-Sachs genes. When I told the doctor that we were Jewish, I will never forget how he said it doesn't matter. A blood test confirmed that Elise had an infantile Tay-Sachs disease. The doctor informed us that most children with Tay-Sachs don't live past the age of three. Elise was going blind, deaf, had seizures, needed a feeding tube for nourishment, and lost all mobility and became unaware of her surroundings. And all this happened when she was just 20 months old. Instead of focusing on all the things that Tay-Sachs had taken away from Elise, we have chosen to celebrate Elise's life. If love was the cure, Elise would live forever. Tay-Sachs is a neurodegenerative disease that affects the central nervous system. It is a mutation of the hexa gene enclosed in the alpha subunit of the beta hexasaminidase, which plays a crucial role in the brain and spinal cord. It is most commonly found in infants, in which it is always fatal. In lysosomes, beta hexa helps break down a fatty substance called ganglioside, or GM2. Mutations in the gene stop activity of beta hexa, preventing the breakdown of GM2, resulting in destruction of the neurons in the brain and spinal cord due to having toxic levels of buildup. This causes some symptoms of Tay-Sachs. Symptoms of Tay-Sachs include deafness, blindness, loss of muscle strength and function, seizures, delayed muscle and social development, slowed growth, and red spot on macula. The diagnosis of HEX-A deficiency relies on the display of absent beta HEX-A enzymatic activity in the white blood cells of a symptomatic individual in the presence of normal or elevated activity of the beta HEX-B isoenzyme. Molecular genetic testing of HEX-A, the only gene in which pathogenic variants cause HEX-A deficiency, is used primarily to distinguish pseudo-deficiency alleles from pathogenic variants in healthy individuals with apparent deficiency of HEX-A enzymatic activity identified in population screening programs. Because Tay-Sachs disease is inherited, there is no way to prevent it except through screening. You can screen for carriers of the Tay-Sachs disease by doing genetic testing on two parents who are thinking about starting a family. Enzyme analysis can also be done on a child's blood or tissue samples, and an eye exam can reveal a red spot on the macula. Although there is no cure for Tay-Sachs, the treatment can consist of keeping the child comfortable, which is palliative care. The plan can include medication for pain to control seizures, physical therapy, feeding tubes, and respiratory care to help with the mucus buildup in the lungs.